Usually I don't post. what's up y'all welcome to another realistic day in the life days in my life mom vlog or stay at home mom vlog whatever you want to call it we're a first time mom and we do vlogs we're trying to do weekly vlogs so we are starting another vlog y'all and let me just say that my allergies today mm, <clears throat> i just got like something going on up in here I don't know where it came from, but I'm just, I just literally just started sounding like Chucky from Rugrats out of nowhere. I just started sneezing out of nowhere. Um, so it is Sunday. So that means we took that after church nap. That nap was about three hours, y'all. Last week, that nap was about four and a half hours. I was telling y'all, like waking up at like six in the morning to be at church just drains me. And when I get back home, I'd be knocked out. Like I'd be so tired so after i get back home from church me and my daughter we take our clothes off and we get right in the bed well i wipe my makeup off take our clothes off we go right to sleep <laughs> and we be sleep for hours like both of us me and my two-year-old we are exhausted after church and then sometimes i stay for both services but on days i stay for both services we don't get to sleep as long <laughs> and when i woke up i just it's just been this just congestion just going on up in here and i'm like lord where did this come from but anyway we're starting a new week and tomorrow's monday and i don't know what this week i don't know what this week has in store i i just i don't i gotta plan my week um we're still trying to get our life together y'all we are still trying to get our life together we're starting new things we've been planning and all that kind of stuff so i'm just really trying to get in a routine because i would love to plan my days sunday evenings but it's so hard to do that with a toddler running around because I no longer have anywhere to put her in order to do planning because, well, y'all know the story. If you've been watching my videos, I'll tell y'all the story. She no longer has her playpen anymore because she was climbing out of it. Um, I also meant to tell y'all that she no longer, well, I told y'all in my last vlog, she no, longer, she no longer has all the reels on her crib. She has officially gone into a toddler bed and <sighs> <sighs> y'all she's just growing up but yeah i showed y'all this in the last vlog it's officially a toddler bed now toddler bed because this is a crib that you could convert into a toddler bed i don't know if this is the type of bed that goes into a day bed or not maybe it is i need to find out i think it might i don't know but this is her little toddler bed she did not sleep in this last night she ended up staying staying in our bed last night um because sometimes y'all like especially if I take Benadryl to sleep I am not getting up like I, I just be too like I don't even be knowing when I fall asleep y'all I just be falling asleep and by the time when I be waking up I be it'd be like four in the morning and I'm like oh dang I never put her in her bed and at that time I'm like you know what oh well you might as well just stay the rest of the night <laughs> especially when I gotta get up at six in the morning for church it's like yeah you might as well just stay girl because you finna be getting up with me anyway so just stay in the bed but yeah, today we haven't really done much since we got home from church after our nap. We don't, we've had dinner. Um, she's in there eating a sucker. I gotta tell y'all about these suckers that I discovered on TikTok. They're for, they're for specifically for kids. They don't have any sugar. They're good for their teeth. Um, let me just put this down for a second. Yeah, it's good for their teeth. It's called, y'all may have heard of it before, but it's called Zolly Pops. But I was like, this is the best thing. Um, she can eat it. She can eat it, and I could be uh, guilt-free because it's not—it's not harmful for her. Um, you know, all the things. 
<laughs> you ate all your dinner and you you ate all your dinner and you got a sucker are you done with it yet let me see let me see but uh oh almost okay good job oh now it's all gone <laughs> you, you want that little piece Piece. You can eat that little that piece too. There you go. <laughs> Another thing that I need to declare to y'all is this kitchen table. Like when I say it, it's always something going on on this table. I mean, all this stuff is here because I do her hair while she's in her high chair. Okay. But like oh, this, so yeah, all this stuff just needs to go. Like I'm sick of it. Like Elmo, like what is Elmo doing on the table? What is a nose thingy doing on the table? Like my keys, just. You know, this is what they look like. They're called Zolly Pops. Um, yeah, so they're really good for their teeth, apparently. It's a, it's a sucker that I can give her that I don't have to feel guilty about. So we, we love that. We, we love it here. So, uh, it is almost 6 p.m. Girl, what is you? Girl, what are you doing? I thought you said to watch one. You want to watch who? Oh, Little Bear. You want to watch Little Bear? Oh. Well, you're gonna need mommy's help to watch Little Bear. She says she's gonna watch Little Bear, but in reality, she just wants to uh, push buttons. I am going to fix this bed because it is not made, because I told y'all we took a nap. So I got up and fixed us dinner, edited a vlog, and I'm just not getting a chance to even fix this bed because I've been busy ever since we woke up from our after church nap. So right now would be a good time for me to fix this bed while she is distracted because I don't know how long she's going to be distracted <laughs> because most of the time if she's not doing something while I'm trying to fix the bed she'll be in the way trying to lay on the sheets and just doing something so we're going to try and do this before she realizes <laughs> done fixing our bed y'all i'm just telling y'all like my bed does not be like those it's like some youtubers like their beds just be looking like hotel beds not my bed <laughs> it's never perfect it's never like i don't steam my comforter like it's i've had this comforter on here for maybe a month now and it's still extremely wrinkly like i don't know and like when you wash them you know obviously they be wrinkly and i just don't feel like steaming it out first like the time First of all, the time to steam it out. I just don't feel like taking that time. So it's just gonna be wrinkled, okay? Um, so anyways, y'all, bed is fixed. And this is my wig that I was showing y'all in my last vlog. But like now that I'm actually wearing it, I think I'm gonna put a few more layers in it. I only got layers in the front, like it stops. Ugh, let me lower this some. It stops right here at my boobs, y'all. I'm actually really liking the, the shorter hair because um, usually I wear 26 inches and this is 20, I think it is. Yeah, this is 20. So it's six inches short and I didn't think I would like the short, but I'm like, you know what? Let me do the short because for one, I'm tired of the long hair for now. It'll definitely be back. And 
yeah so i don't think i think about it this wig i think i might put it too far back my forehead has seemed like it's a little big or maybe it's just because this is a different wig and y'all know different wigs from different companies fit different and this is 250 percent density which is why i ordered from this brand because most wear and go wigs that are pre-plugged and pre-bleached why is this so light most wear and go wigs that are pre-plugged and pre-bleached um and pre-cut the density is 180 flat like they don't give you no option for anything more and i'm like i like a thick wig i don't like thin hair i don't like it so i be wanting my wigs to be 250 so that when they at least when they shed a little bit which all wigs will shed it won't be so thin looking like but this thing this hair hair like this hair here y'all it's thick like she is thick so i do believe this is truly 250 like the ends are thick it's just so pretty y'all I, I love i love her um so for the rest of the evening y'all we really don't be doing nothing on sundays like i said my goal is to start planning my week on sunday nights i don't know how or when that's gonna start happening because my days are so unpredictable with having a toddler because uh, trying to sit down and think and plan something is really hard unless I can find something for her to do that keeps her attention. Like even if I give her a coloring, like coloring book or something like that, that got her attention for a little while. But eventually she don't get up and be like, you know, mommy, it's like, I want to sit on you. I want to pull and tug on you. I want to sit on your lap. I want to see what you're doing. <laughs> so it only gives me maybe 10 minutes max of uninterrupted time. And to plan my week, I'm going to need at least 30 minutes to an hour to do that. To do that. So I'm thinking about doing something different this week. And um, going to like a coffee shop to work. Because she goes to her grandmother's house on Mondays for a few hours. And eventually I decided to do that so I could film on Mondays. But lately filming on Mondays just hasn't been working out. So I may end up having to change the schedule around to maybe wednesdays um and seeing how that's going to work out for me maybe filming on wednesdays and using mondays as my days to get my week together that's probably the best thing to do because it just i don't know we'll, we'll see <laughs> I, i'm still trying to figure out my weeks it's, it's just trying to come up with a consistent routine that involves my toddler so that we can be on the set schedule so that everything that I know that I need to do gets done. Like we are focused on being consistent and disciplined this year. And in order to be consistent and disciplined, you have to plan. <gasps> okay, you going bye-bye? We're going to try that plan this week on and see how it works. Um, and if that works, then we're just going to continue because the, the previous plans ain't worked out. So... We just gonna keep trying one till we figure it out. Hi, how's my biggie? But I showed y'all my nails in my last vlog. This is how they came out. Now I'm no expert in press-ons. I'm still trying to figure out how to get the bubbles out. Like some of these got bubbles in them or that like you can tell that it's a press-on. If you look up really close, you can see like bubbles. I need to figure out how to get them out. I put nail on the glue. I mean on the nail. I put glue on the nail and on my nail and um, that helped a little bit. Like I did really, really good on this hand, but this hand here is a little bubbly, but ain't nobody that close. They can really tell. We're going to figure it out y'all. Um, and also I'm praying that this week I get to get my feet done because usually I don't get my feet done in the winter, but I'm like, you know what? This is looking a little crusty. Um, they need to be done. So we hopefully, she just took a hold of my camera. Hopefully this week we can get, Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Why is it that when a toddler does something wrong, they look at you and wave? Or they'll come give you a hug afterwards. She that. she really be doing that. But yeah, like I said, hopefully this week we can get a pedicure. <sighs> There's a lot that I want to do this week. Hopefully we get it all done. Because a lot of the stuff that we wrote down for last week did not get done. So we got to try and do it again this week. Like this is new. This is all new. So I'm trying to give myself grace, give myself time to get things together. Get these routines together. <laughs> I know this is a lot of talking, this is a lot of introduction to the vlog, <laughs> but we just have a lot to catch up on and say so that the rest of the week will make sense. We don't have anything interesting planned for this week, um, so don't really know how exciting these vlogs are going to be, like, but like, this is why they're realistic vlogs, because realistically, you don't have 
something fun and exciting to do every week. Like sometimes it's gonna be boring. Sometimes you're gonna be in the house and that's okay. So I'm not gonna talk you guys ear off any longer. I'm going to get her in the tub. I'm gonna give her a bath. I'm gonna take a shower. And we literally just gonna chill the rest of the evening. I probably won't even pull this camera back out for the rest of the evening because we are literally not gonna be doing anything special. And I'll just pull the camera back out tomorrow when I'm heading to a coffee shop to work. It is a camera. It is a camera. You wanna say hi? Hi. Oh. Say hi. Hi. Oh, look at my sweetie. Oh. Oh. She's the sweetest girl, y'all. Like she is just so sweet. <laughs> you wanna get down? Okay. Yeah, your belly button. Oh, yeah, your belly button. Anyway, y'all, we're done with Sunday. I'm gonna turn this camera off. We're gonna, we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our evening, whatever that entails. If anything exciting comes up, I'll pull the camera yeah, out. If not, then I will see y'all tomorrow. Day two. Good morning, you guys. Well, good afternoon. Please excuse this view for a minute. I still don't have a dash um, thing for my camera yet. I, I ordered one, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. Right now, I am forcing myself to get out of the house and go to a coffee shop and get some work done. I just wanted to get out and enjoy this weather. It's like 60 degrees and it's sunny. Amira's with her grandmother. Um, so I'm just trying to, you know, get out of the Stay house the and just lane. enjoy being out. Um, I also need to remember to go to the bank. I've never been to a coffee shop other than Starbucks, so I don't even know what to expect. I probably should have just went to Starbucks, to be honest. But um, um, I wanted to try some different shops, like some smaller shops, and you know, leave Starbucks alone <laughs> for a little while. Um, so this coffee shop isn't too far away. I was willing to drive up to 20 minutes, and the one that I really want to go to, so I'm gonna have to try and. Um, go some other time and yeah so that's what's on the agenda today we're just getting out of the house enjoy the weather when i get back home i'm gonna put amira to sleep because it'll be time for her nap and then start dinner um for dinner today we are having what is it cheesy chicken broccoli and rice i think that's the name of it it's one of my favorite meals like i just i love i love these one pot meals like they just they, they just hit every time, but they're easy, the right two lanes. convenient, literally just one pot, and we'll call it a day. Whew. Yeah, I guess I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys once we get to the coffee shop. Hey girl, I just wanted to take this next segment just to talk to you for a little bit. So as I told y'all, this was my first time going on a solo date. I wanted to start with something, um, I guess, less intimidating. So I decided to carve out some time in my day to force myself to get out of this house and go on a solo date. And in this solo date, I decided to just vlog. And when I tell you guys, I felt so good afterwards because I felt like I was pouring into myself by spending time with myself. It can get so easy to get lost in motherhood especially when you're a mom and a wife you have so many tasks that you have to do in a day and a week and before you know it the day is gone and you haven't done anything for yourself you're just constantly serving others and while serving others and your family is important if if you don't take care of yourself you have nothing to give to your family you cannot give your best and carving time to start dating myself and taking care of myself and loving myself i'm on this journey y'all i told you we're elevating our life this year we are focused on our goals and one of those things was to go on a solo date by myself and i was proud of myself because there was a time in my life where i would have never wanted to go out in public by myself i would have been like yeah no that doesn't sound fun at all but these days i am enjoying having alone time um and having being able to go out with yourself and have fun with yourself there's just nothing like it so i want to just encourage you to if you have a chance to go somewhere by yourself and do a date night like you could just do a date night with yourself go on a coffee date by yourself go to a bookstore read a book by yourself just do some things that you love to in, in, do some things that you love to do or figure it out what it is that you love to do take a pottery class take a candle making class whatever it is just do something by yourself and love yourself 
and just you know trying to do new things this year so we're going to be trying a bunch of different things so i just wanted to encourage you sis if that is you to go and do something by yourself this year all right y'all so we are done with our coffee shop that was really cool like it was nice just to get out and enjoy the nice weather <sighs> but low-key i probably shouldn't have gotten a coffee with whole milk um i feel like i'm low-key starting to regret my decision because i drink lactose free milk and what's crazy is i'm not even lactose intolerant like i can eat ice cream cheese any other type of dairy but when i drink whole milk is another story and it's just i don't know i don't know why it's just milk it's not anything else um but i don't have much longer before i have to go back and get my daughter and i need to return some things i actually forgot one thing that i need to return but i'm going to go ahead and head to um i'm going to head to ross to return this planner i need to go to Coles to return this little cord i actually forgot this other thing that i was supposed to return Ugh. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Um, so we got a few things to return. Um, I actually forgot my Ulta gift card because there was one thing that I wanted to get from Ulta because my husband had got me an Ulta gift card. And now I'm like, dang. Because I like to go to Ulta without my daughter because the aisles are so skinny. And when I take her in there in a stroller, I'm literally just like maneuvering the whole time. And she'd be getting pretty close to the aisles and she'd be snatching stuff off the shelves. So I would just pretty much prefer to not take her to Ulta um but yeah so let me go ahead and get going because um traffic is about to start getting a little bit crazy and I do not want to be um sitting in traffic forever and I also need to get gas okay we are at Target I forgot I needed to come here to get my daughter snacks we got these these she loves these and I need some deodorant and some body wash. But I'm looking for a candle that smells like laundry. I have not found one yet. I can't find one. I don't want to go to Bath and Body Works for it. So. I don't see anything that smells like laundry. Nothing. So did you just now get this? Yeah. It's the, okay. It's the, uh, yeah, because right now there's nothing on it. It might not load it until after you pay. Okay, let me make sure. Oh. Okay, now let me check again. It's on there now? Okay. I just want to make sure so I can yep. use it when I come back. Thank you. No problem. Hey, 
Are you good? Oh, I only have all these. and Amira is knocked out. She is asleep. So we are about to get dinner ready a lot later than I had planned because I wanted to have dinner over halfway ready by now. <sighs> I need to find the recipe. All right, so this recipe is so good, y'all. Like I've made it at least three or four times and I still be forgetting what I need to do. Is this crooked? Um, so... Let me get the stuff I need. I'm not gonna lie, like when, it, when a recipe calls for chicken, I'm low key annoyed because I hate cutting up chicken. And that's probably because um, I don't have the best knives. I need to invest in better knives. But I just hate cutting up chicken. I don't, I just hate it. It's, it's just dreadful. It's just dreadful. That's just the best way I can describe it. It's dreadful, you know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken and stuff ready because I can't do this and talk. And like I said, I'm already running a little bit late, but I am feeling pretty accomplished today and proud of myself because I got out of the house. I forced myself to get out of the house. I forced myself to put on clothes and I forced myself to go to this coffee shop by myself. There's a time that I would not do that by myself. Um, eventually we're gonna get to solo dating where we take ourselves out to dinner, buy ourselves flowers, Treat ourselves good. Like, you know, learn how to love yourself and learn how to be content with being alone. And I don't mean alone like you're not in a relationship. I just mean like alone, like you don't need people around you to be happy. You, you found your true happiness and your purpose and your relationship with Christ. And that doesn't mean you don't need people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're happy and content with um, your relationship with Christ and you're not out here you know, jumping into relationships and situationships with people who don't mean you any good just because you're alone. And the Lord fulfills you in ways that you didn't even know you could be fulfilled. And you are happy and you are at peace and you are content. And that is just such a good place to be. But like I said, I really feel like in 2024, I'm gonna be stepping out of my comfort zone a lot. I already started kind of doing that in 2023, making new friends and trying to talk to people and getting over my fear of not even a fear just being uncomfortable is a i guess it's a sort of a fear because it's like look if i gotta do something that i don't normally do i ain't doing it <laughs> if i gotta go talk in front of people i ain't doing it if i gotta go meet new people i ain't doing it but i'm like nope we can't get where god is trying to get us to go we can't be who god is trying to get us to be if we're constantly succumbing to fear and constantly talking ourselves out of things because i'm telling you when god wants you to do something your head will 100% of the time talk you out of it. Your head will be like, nope, this ain't you. This ain't what you about to do. We're not doing it. But God is like, yes, I need you to step outside of your comfort zone. I need you to be social because what I have for you in the future, you need to be this. And I'm trying to pull this out of you, but you're being stubborn and you're not doing things because it's uncomfortable. And growth is uncomfortable so you gotta be you gotta choose your heart like you want to be stuck in the same place for the rest of your life uncomfortable or you want to be the uncomfortable that yeah I'm, I'm doing things that i'm not used to doing but at least i'm growing i know i'm growing i know i'm doing things differently so this is my growth period this is me growing so which uncomfortable you want staying the same or growing and getting new experiences and making new friends and just you know growth being where god wants you to be Anyway, let me go ahead and get this chicken started because I've been saying that for like the past 10 minutes and we still ain't got this chicken started. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here. I'm always pushing things too far. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my Running at the wall I'd rather 
rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky Little by little here no, no. Alright you guys, we are done with dinner So I'm going to end Monday here Because I'm really, really need to take this wig off And get comfortable before I need to put it back on for tomorrow So um, I'm going to just chill out, try and figure out what's going on with my daughter because she seems a little whiny. I think she's trying to do number two. <laughs> so I'm going to let her chill out and make sure that she, you know, is okay. We'll clean up this kitchen, take this wig off, and get comfortable for the night. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Day three. afternoon you guys it has been a few days since I picked up this vlogging camera because I have just not been feeling well just been dealing with headaches and nausea y'all I know I've mentioned that before I don't know what is going on with all the tension headaches the sinus headaches the nausea I feel like it's um this is why I said like I'm really trying to prioritize my health this year and I know a lot of it has to do with the neck tension that I'm experiencing like it hurts when I turn my head to the left so I've gotten some appointments scheduled with the chiropractor I'm going to be getting me a massage soon we're gonna have a whole spa day because this is not living <laughs> it's debil debilitating y'all like when I have these headaches like nausea like I don't even want to eat and the headaches just really just decrease my quality of life and i don't get to film or do anything because when i film obviously i want to be in a good mood and i don't want to be dragging on camera y'all look at my hair i look like a child um anyway so that's why we are say so we are working on our pelvic floor muscles we are working on a whole bunch of things because by the end of this year, I want to feel completely different than I do at the beginning of this year. And I'm sorry, y'all. I just looking at my hair, and it's just like, woo. Also, with my hair, I think I'm experiencing protein. I mean, moisture overload. I really think I have moisture overload, y'all. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of protein treatments coming up because I feel like my hair could use it. And this is just me following promptings from the Holy Spirit I just really feel like I need some protein in my life for my hair so we're gonna be utilizing that um, today we are going to my sister's house I'm taking a mirror over there so she can get out of the house because we've been cooped up in this house well actually not really because I mean we went somewhere on Wednesday but we didn't go anywhere yesterday and yesterday she was crying because she wanted to go outside but I was just not feeling it y'all like I was just like I'm sorry girl like mommy does not feel well i can't do outside i can't do the bright sun like i was in the house wearing sunglasses y'all because that's how bad my headache was so i was like yeah we definitely not gonna go outside and i'm wearing sunglasses in the house so today i'm feeling a little bit better so i'm gonna force myself to get out of this house go to my sister's house um spend some time there i just always feel good at my sister's house like anytime i spend time with her i just feel better and 
I know spending time with my sister will make me feel better. It always does. It's just something about having a twin sister, y'all. Like, it's, it's just unmatched. Like, when I'm around her, I feel at home. When I'm around my sister, I feel whole. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I just feel whole when I'm around my twin sister. Like, everything is okay. We just get each other. And it's just... It's just a feeling that I would pray that everyone in life could experience <laughs> because it's definitely and I know she feels the same way around me like it's just it's just unmatched you know it's just nothing like having a twin sister but anyways I'm, I'm struggling to get this scarf on like this is crazy I got the scarf tied but we're not putting no wig on y'all like we are not getting cute today we are just not doing it um I'm wearing a scarf the whole time I'm over there and it is what it is like if y'all are tired of me looking ugly you can just click off the video <laughs> because we're gonna be ugly this whole time. I don't even know how much of today I'm getting on camera but I want to check in um we are spending the night over there so I won't be back back home until tomorrow um I'm just gonna spend time with my sister let Amira spend time with her cousins let them run outside in the backyard because it's, it's almost 70 degrees y'all and it's February, so yeah. So I'm getting ready to pack a bag for us. Um, I'm going to. I think I'm just going to take my suitcase because that way everything can fit in there. Like, cause I'm taking my cereal. Like, I'm taking everything that I need to be comfortable. So I know that's weird, but that's what we doing. So we are taking everything we need to be comfortable. So. I'm gonna take well obviously I gotta bring diapers and wipes and I'm gonna put her on some clothes so she can go play outside um but she need to have her sleeper for when she gets back in the house um probably need to bring well if they play out depending on how long they play outside I might need to pack some stuff for her to take a bath um yeah so we're just gonna get packing and get started because I really do want to get out of here before three before the rush hour traffic starts to take over i'm going to spray this vanilla bourbon i'm trying to use the rest of it because i bought a new one and this stuff smells so good y'all like if you don't have the vanilla bourbon from target like this pairs it ain't focusing it pairs really well with other vanilla stuff it's just amazing it's amazing all right you guys so we finally have a dash mount in the car that seems like it's pretty heavy duty. It's not as tight, like if I have my camera on there tight all the way, it's turned the way that I don't need it to be and I can't rotate it once it's tight. So I gotta figure that out a little bit, but it's on here and it don't like it's getting off, so that's a great thing. But we are on our way to our destination. We're gonna spend the night at my sister's house as I told you guys earlier, so that's where we're on our way to and gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner I have no idea what we're gonna eat um yeah the struggle of trying to figure out meals every day like that's the part of that's one part of adult adulting that you don't think about when you're a child is, dang I gotta plan meals for every day yeah so I have to make a few stops well actually I need to make one stop first and then we're gonna head there. So I'm not gonna talk you guys a year off. I don't even know. We'll probably end up closing out the vlog um, once I get to my sister's house so that um, the kids can play and have a good time. Hopefully this vlog was long enough. I had I gotta go back through there and see what all the footage I got because if I didn't get enough footage, we might need to add another day. <laughs> we might need to add another day. But hey, I never promised that the vlog was gonna be an hour long every week. So what was the point of that? Why did cars pull out in front of you? Like, if I have to slam on my brakes because you pulled out, then you shouldn't have pulled out. Like, what part of... I don't know. Like, let me stop. Anyways, I'll see y'all when we get there. Could 
them blame, blame, blame Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, be surfing I show you how to get this pay, who are we stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing Me and Bay making plays till we crashing Yeah, yeah, yeah Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene yeah. Dripping wetter from head to toe, la baby me Yeah, I get what's mine That's from mine